In this question, we're looking for the largest y-intercept. So if we look at part A first, uh, we're going to look for the part of the graph that intercepts the y-axis. Right? So this is the y-axis right here. Okay, I'm coloring it in green. Uh, and where does our blue graph cross it? So that's going to be right here, where y equals negative 3. So the point, or our y-intercept, is going to be 0, comma negative 3. Okay, it's that easy. Okay. Now B, we're looking for the y-intercept again, but we're given an equation. So I like to look at the graphs uh, in these cases, so I'm going to use decimals.com to graph it. And now I'm going to plug in y equals x squared, arrow down, plus x plus 2. Hit enter, and then my graph shows up over here on the right. Now all we really care about is the y-intercept, so where does our graph cross the y-axis here? Well, if I click that point right there where it crosses it, it's going to be 0, 2. That's going to be our y-intercept, so it's going to be value of 2. Um, you could also check out the table as well. If you click this little gear here, it says Edit List, and then this button right here says Convert to Table. Click that, and then you can see all the x values that matches up with the y values here on the right. And remember that to look for our uh, y-intercept, that's always going to be when the x is 0. So if I look at this um, column right here, our x is 0 right here. And I look to the right for the y value, and right here it's 2. So that's just another way to do it. So there's my vertex. OK, on to part C, we're given a table. So um, should we graph? Well, actually, we don't have to graph this because um, like I just said in the Desmos graph, uh, when I pull up the table, uh, I know that my y-intercept is going to be when x equals 0. So where does my x equals 0 here on this table? It's right here. So my vertex is going to be 0, comma, negative 1. So uh, 0, comma, negative 1. That's going to be my vertex. Because even if I plotted this point, think about it got my y and uh, let's see my y axis my x axis if I plot this point it's going to be 0 when for x and then our y is negative 1 so that's going to be right there so it definitely is our y intercept okay um, and then our question is asking determine the function that has the largest y intercept so uh, which y intercept is the highest on the coordinate system it looks like it's going to be b right here because it's happening at 0, 2. This one right here is negative, and this one right here is negative as well. So we'll go with B. Now, before I move on, I want to go back to B right here. Um, besides just uh, graphing this and looking at the y-intercept on the graph, and besides looking at the table, you could also figure it out by just using an equation. Now, back to C, I said that when x is 0, our y-intercept is realized, right? Okay, we had 0, comma, negative 1. So you could also plug in for x, 0 here, and then 0 there. And then that would give you the y value. So what I mean by that is, imagine if I wrote y equals, and then instead of writing x squared, I'm going to do 0 squared plus, and instead of writing x, I'm going to plug in my 0 for x, and then I've got 2 at the end. So whenever x equals 0, I could figure out what y equals. So y will be equal to well, what? 0 squared is 0, plus this is just 0 again, and then plus 2. So if I simplify that, that's going to be y equals 2. So when x was 0, remember that's what we were plugging in for our x, then our y was 2. That's going to be a point on our graph, and that's going to be our y-intercept. So that's just another way to check um, what the y-intercept is going to be when you're given just the equation.